Adobe Elements Tutorials for Beginners. So today we have the 10 best functions guide for beginners. The File Browser. The File Browser in Adobe Elements 10 is a dramatic improvement over the original File Browser, offering many new time-saving features. Camera Raw Support. Adobe Elements 10 now supports the camera raw format from high-end digital cameras, allowing for the sort of advanced image editing previously only available in Adobe CS. Shadows Highlights One of our former top 10 Photoshop CS features is now in Adobe Elements 10, namely Shadows Highlights. This command, uh, found under Enhance and then Adjust Lighting, is set by default to lighten the shadows by 50% and to leave the highlights alone, but you can easily change these settings. So the healing brush and the spot healing brush. So have you noticed a trend yet? Many of our favourite Photoshop CS features have quietly slipped into Adobe Elements 10. In this case it's the healing brush, an ideal tool for covering up problems in an image without messing with the underlying textures. Adobe Elements gets a leg up on CS5, however, with the spot healing brush, a kind of one-step healing tool. The Auto Smart Fix. Normally, I'm not a big fan of automated image adjustments, but this one works quite well. And if it doesn't appear to help, you can always undo it and try Adjust Smart Fix, a more interactive version of Smart Fix that lets you use a percentage slider to adjust the image. Both options are found in the Enhance menu. The cookie cutter. If you've always wanted to have a photo cut into a shape of a butterfly, a heart or a paw print, now it's possible and incredibly simple. OK, so you may never want to do this, but I'm sure you'll find ways to use this tool once you see what it does. Organizer. A Windows only feature, Organizer lets you organize images and automatically create web galleries and slideshows, including presentations that can be shown on your DVD player similar in many ways to the file browser in terms of photo organizing but with many added features. Organizer includes integrated access to calendar and email functions. Duplicate layer command. Okay, so it may seem like a pretty lame thing to put on a top 10 list but to me it's a reason to celebrate. The keyboard shortcut for the duplicate layer command has come back. Again, it may not seem much but considering the number of times that I start off by duplicating the background layer the ability to simply press Ctrl J is a godsend. Photo Filter Adjustment Layer Photo Filter Adjustment Layers, yet another feature borrowed from Adobe CS, simulate traditional screw-on camera filters such as warming and cooling filters. You can choose from a pop-up list or pick your own colour and adjust the density. Since it's an adjustment layer, you can easily double-click the layer to change its settings or simply reduce its opacity to lower the effect. And finally, printing. Well, I'm sorry, but since I was down to my last function, I bundled together a few things and called them printing. Overall, printing is simply better than it was in Adobe Elements 9. A modified printer interface makes precise printing much easier, and there is a greater control in the printing layouts, as well as functions such as picture package. So, to grab your free report, Beginner's Guide to Elements, make sure you click the link below the arrow or just visit www.learnelementsnow.com forward slash blog forward slash report. Thanks very much.